Okay, we have a presentation tonight by the Robotics Club. is essentially a, a, a competitive robotics club that works out of Gateway High School that specializes in VEX robotics competitions and FIRST robotics competitions, which range all around the world. Um, in addition, you'll learn through our presentation that we are a club dedicated to being more than robots, so we actually spend the majority of our time giving back to our community and inspiring the future generations. Um, so without much further ado, um, I'm Ebru. I'm the club's vice president. This is Haley, our club's treasurer. And Zach was our lead driver and mechanical lead this year for our water season. So a little bit about our history. Quasix was founded in 2018, ugh, 2008. Um, so we've been around for 11 seasons, 11 years. It's really hard to, it's really incredible that we've been around for more than 10 years at the school. So we originally started in a physics room with three coaches and around 10 students. And we basically worked out of the physics room and we basically built our club up to what it is today. That is that we have about 34 students and we have six volunteer coaches that range from coming from Carnegie Mellon, Pitt, NASA, Bechtel, Google, you name it. They help us out. It makes us have connections and it helps us become better innovators. Um, throughout our closet history, basically we've had over 100 students come in and our students have gone to places such as MIT, Harvard, Carnegie Mellon, Pitt, great places to go. Um, and this has been done through our programs in VEX Robotics and FIRST Robotics. So, VEX Robotics is actually taught at the high school in our honors robotics classes, so they actually get to do hands-on with these kits of parts. But in our club, we start off our freshmen with VEX because since it is a kit of parts, it's much easier to learn how to how shaft collars work and how like everything works and motors and programming. After that, they move up to FIRST. Um, the first competition that we specialize is FIRST Robotics Competition, and FIRST Robotics Competition is essentially like you build on your own. You drill, you cut, you bandsaw, what you want. It's you know up to your creativity and how you're gonna look at it, which is really great because it's not like you're constrained to a kit of parts. So that's really what we do is we build robots and I will pass this off to Zach to talk about the rest. So during our season, we have uh, gained many awards. So first we'll start with the VEX award. Um, so our VEX teams, when they design their robots, they don't have any real guidelines except for they have to keep it within a certain perimeter. Um, so this year we actually won the design award for having a good design and one that worked and was eye appealing. Um, for FRC, we won the team spirit award because of our, the way we put our team together. Um, when we go out to outreach events or we go to a competition, we all have our green shirts, it, it's who we are. We have our logo, which is like in the top right corner and it signifies who we are as a team. Um, and we always try to keep with that spirit of being green, being in Gateway, working with the community and making it work. Um, FRC Dean's List Award finalists, um, it's to commemorate students that work hard in and out of school. Um, so for the last four years, we have actually had finalists that have gone to the world competition. Two of them are standing here today with us, actually. Um, and then <laughs> for this year, we won the FRC Showcase Team Award, which only eight teams won. And basically what it was was it showed that you were one of the top eight that did stuff in your community, that worked hard, um, that did well in competition and stuff like that. Now in the community, we do a lot of outreach. Um, our goal is to inspire STEM interest and education. So we always try to go out to small schools or um, churches, um, different places like that, Barnes and Noble, um, a couple other different stores and stuff like that to spread the STEAM field. Um, in 2017 alone, we were in or hosted 42 events and inspired 13,000 people. Um, this year, we actually helped the North American Martyrs Robotics Club. We helped them 
build their robots and we also help them to compete in their competition. And then we actually ended up this week, we went to their club and we did a demonstration with all of our, our robots that we have built over the time. Um, we also, yesterday we did uh, Girl Scout Troop, which is based out of um, St. Bernadette's. So we had 11 girls and they all came down and we showed them the robots and we inspired them that not only, it's not only a guy field, it's also a girl field. So girls can be an engineer, girls can build robots, they can design, they can build, they can do anything in the engineer or STEM field. Um, as tonight we have the board of directors meeting, which you guys are here. And tomorrow we actually are going to do the preschool carnival which is at Gateway High School. So the Gateway High School has their own preschool. And today the preschool graduated and tomorrow they're gonna have a party, graduation, carnival, and we are going to demo for them. We actually have two more Girl Scout troop demos coming up, um, May 24th and the 25th. We also double booked ourselves for May 26th with a Barnes and Nobles demo. And down here at the Minerva Public Library, we are doing a STEM expo. Also um, on in July 4th, we'll be doing the Independence Parade, which we did last year and the year before. All right, as you may guess, all of this does cost a lot of money. Um, for our FRC registration fees, it is $5,000, um, and that gets you into the competition um, for one regional, um, which is spread over three days. Um, and then we also have a, another team, the VEX Robotics, um, and their costs turn out to be around 650 for registration in the competitions. Um, that includes their registration fees, the two qualifiers they compete in, and um, going to states. Our registration fees are approximately 43% of our annual expenses every year. And along with that, um, we will most likely be losing one of our sponsors we've had for the last few years. Um, which is Google, and they've been donating um, around $3,000 to us. Um, however, since they've supported us for a few years now, um, they would like to move on and support another team so that somebody else gets the chance. Um, so that count accounts for about 27% of our income, um, which will be a huge deficit um, losing them. That's it. Any questions? <laughs> okay, so I was coming in the back door of the high school, and I was opening all these great big doors, and I was going in, and the robotics team was coming out, loading up the car with these, and this one girl was carrying two robots in each arm, and I'm thinking, that's pretty heavy, you know, maybe I should help, so I said, can I carry one of those? She said, don't touch my robots. So, you guys do wonderful work. I, I, I see that you're asking for some money here and you make a lot of presentations. Have you ever made a presentation to the Chamber of Commerce? There's a place called the Monroeville Chamber of Commerce and they have people that go to that that are into science, technology, engineering, and math and they might be a good resource to help fund some of the projects or places you could go to demonstrate what you do to some of the um, folks that work at some of the corporations that are involved with science, technology, engineering, and math. Does that sound good? Yes, thank you for the suggestion. I'm going to let us. They're here asking us for money. Yes. So, do you have a particular number in mind? What are you looking for? $3,000, I think. Um, probably because our registration fees are a lot of money, um, probably covering what Google is supporting us, because that is one fourth of what we're paying every year. And what you saw on the last slide wasn't just. It was just our reg registration fees. Like we have thousands of dollars that go into making the robot. So just like even getting that registration fee is a lot, obviously, but also getting the supplies that we need is also a lot. So it takes a lot of fundraising. So it would be nice to get what we lost from Google, but obviously that's also a lot of money, but that would be great. <laughs> now, do you guys fundraise? Uh, yes. We hold two fundraisers, um, two main fundraisers a year. Um, one of them, we sell Sarah's candies, um, and we also typically have a raffle of like penguins tickets or something like that um, to help raise money. Um, and we also go out and talk to as many companies as we can, um, since most of our income is from the sponsorships. 
Um, but we do have um, a few different fundraisers which we do that do pull in um, a good bit of money to help us out. So your total budget's in the ballpark of 11, about 11000 Is that um, about right? Yes, yeah, probably. Uh, it's, this year was around 14 um, thousand for everything total. Good job. Um, always, always make it high. Good job. <laughs> <laughs> when asking for money, go for the high number. <laughs> I have to say they were in the parade on last 4th of July, and they were the biggest hit. I mean, people were just amazed at what these high school students can do. So they are like our number one coming back this year for our parade. So looking forward to that. So I'm just going to make a suggestion that we talk about this and come back Monday, maybe with a number, with um, Sean. He's out there. Yeah. Somewhere. Sean, why don't you come on in? Sure. Sean is one of our tech guys. Sean McMahon. I'll do my best to stay out. <laughs> I Sean, like the kids to do the work. <laughs> they did an excellent job. I appreciate what Thank you're you. doing. Do you have anything to say? Um, no, we're just thankful for your letting us come in here and talk to you tonight. I think um, the, this program is unique. Um, other than the couple schools around here that have it, I've never seen anything like it before. And I think the kids get a lot out of it. Um, and they, they've been doing the fundraising work hard for a long time to make this key being an option for kids in the school district. So we'd appreciate any help you can give us now with, with Google moving on to support other teams like us. Thanks. Thanks. Sean's been working a number of years uh, with the Robotics Club. Uh, 11 now? I was going to say, in my days as a principal, it would be 4, 4.30 in the afternoon. I'd hear the, the saws cranking right across the hallway. <laughs> so uh, uh, yes, they do a great job. So let us talk. and. We'll come back to you guys. Absolutely. All right. Thank you. Appreciate Thank it. You. Thank you guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.